Hello loves, I'm going to have another opportunity to share with you my experience with orgasm during ascension process. Yes, different ways of healings or modes of healing. Let's talk about it. Yay. Uh, currently, the entire planet, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the mineral kingdom, human beings, the, uh, the animal kingdom, they're all, we are all healing we are downloading and integrating the new energies and new frequencies and we are aligning ourselves with higher frequency vibrations that are allowing us to heal and in sense essentially it's purging and that's so cool yes a lot of uh, apparently and through throughout a lot of texts there's a lot of uh, like according to uh, dolores cannon there's waves of volunteers and um i've read some other texts um that individuals, uh, higher beings come, like even according to free spirit, that they could, like seventh dimension, eighth dimension beings, they come and help. They heard Earth's calling for, oh, help, we need help. And so these beings decided to deincarnate from their higher dimension into this dimension to experience this rapid growth that it's very unique to Earth experience. And so it's so awesome. It's really amazing. Uh, give yourselves a pat in the back because it is some hard work because they are playing a good game. Uh, that's the entire idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, humanity as a whole, the collective unconscious, the collective conscious, we are healing, we are, go we are transmuting old energies, old paradigms, old patterns, and... Uh, transmuting them and integrating them into new forms of energy and so yes you're gonna feel depressed you're gonna feel anxiety you're gonna feel fear you're gonna feel happiness and joy and enlightenment and uh, compassion and you're gonna feel all these emotions up and down because that's essentially what we're doing we are boom 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 going up and down it's like so much uh, uh energy is happening and so I want to talk about different modes of healing because I know a lot of people are like, oh, there's only like energy healing. No, no, no. There's different modes of healing and whichever resonates with you, that's the beauty of this process at this moment in time that we are allowed to not just follow one path, not just follow the Jesus Christ path or the, the Buddhist path or the, the Buddhist monk, you know, or the Tibetan monk path or, you know, the shadow work path. We, we can choose whichever path resonates with us to heal. Even the individuals or the human beings that want to experience fear want to experience fame and success they're healing they're they're healing themselves i mean they're allowing us to heal ourselves meaning they are healing themselves they're doing a greater service to humanity and even though they are suffering more than the, the typical human being but that's their choice however they're still healing because if, they're, if, if we're healing if we are healed, they get healed. That's the entire idea of that. Um, so, um, yeah, because we have to forgive them <laughs> for... It's kind of like what like people in Tokyo, foreigners always are like... That we always have to like apologize because we don't know the culture and we don't understand. So we constantly have to apologize and apologize for our mistakes. So, uh, apparently, Japanese people don't know how to forgive. Um, because why do you need to keep on apologizing for something if you don't understand? And if you keep on making them say, why do you have to apologize? You know, it's just your character or just maybe that's a behavior that's you. Like maybe it's, uh, not okay in other countries. You know what I mean? Um, like if you don't bow 45 degrees, you have to apologize for not bowing for 45 degrees or a 90 angle. You know what I mean? It's like that minuscule, if you break a social rule, you have to like apologize, like, those social rules don't apply in America. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's like, so I have to apologize for that. So it's similar. Like these people who took this, this, the, the lower side, the, the long path. I call it the long path. The long fork on the road. They, um, we have to constantly forgive them for doing what they're doing because they're taking the long path. Like they could just, Oh, you just come to our side. Just we forgive you, but just come, just come, just come already. But they constantly have. We have to constantly forgive them because they are taking the long path, and so they should be the one apologizing to us. But we don't need the apology. That's that's different. That's another healing. That's let's right talk about that. That one's more of a religious healing. Could more considered the religious healing from my from my point of view and my experience is forgiveness. The Bible teaches forgiveness. We have. You know, Jesus Christ was like uh, crucified on the cross. It was just 
a way to show that Jesus Christ forgave the, the people who were crucifying. That's the entire idea because he transcended the ego. He transcended the human body and pain. And so he came back to forgive them, to show them that forgiveness exists. And so typically from the Course of Miracles and what I've like gathered from other sources, it's forgiveness is kind of like the main message of the, the Bible. Forgiving yourself, forgiving that um, people are committing sins, forgiving others because you want to be forgiven as well. And God forgives is essentially what that is. Um, that's one mode, one mode that you can go throughout life forgiving people, forgiving yourself, uh, instead of apologizing, um, which there are, you can go online, there's about, there's just a lot of information about forgiveness exercises. Um, I know that, oh, I forget, I get all these B names confused. I don't know why I can't like remember them, but like, uh, Sheila, I believe it's Sheila. Yeah, Sheila, she has some uh, self-forgiveness exercises and forgiveness exercise, which is really amazing. Even Free Spirit talks about forgiveness and he's not religious. It's just definitely, it's, forgiveness is a, it's a higher frequency than a grudge, right? If you're holding a grudge, uh, that is a lower frequency. It's holding you down versus forgiving them. So that talks about frequency and energy. So that's a way of healing. Another way of healing is uh, karmic transmutation and this is, I believe, what is occurring right now in humanity. Well, it's been going on for years, but it's just more prominent now because of the uh, the cycle. That I think it's I think it's three thirty thousand years or thirty six thousand years. The cycle reopens, and we are part of that cycle, and so that's why we are purging, or uh, we can uh, ascend to the sixth, fifth dimension because of our uh, of our karma. We can like get rid of it really quickly. Um, so it's called, according to Free Spirit, it's called karmic transmutation. And so there's two types. There's slow burning of karma and fast burning of karma. And uh, he talks he talks into depth about what each one means. But in the Hinduist healing perspective is the karma is energy that we, uh, it's negative energy that we gave someone that we're going to receive back. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, <laughs> uh so things that you have created uh, that is causing suffering will come back to you. So the slow burning karma is, I think I'm in the middle. <laughs> slow burning karma is just knowing, becoming aware of the issue and not doing anything about it. For example, my slow burning karma is and probably sexual problems. I think that's one major thing that I have a lot of sexual energy and maybe a lot of men have a lot of sexual energy. Maybe my past life, homosexuality or something. It's like, you know, meeting people for casual uh, sexual relationships. You know what I mean? Like that's slow burning karma because you're like, you know that sometimes it's pure lust versus, oh, wow, it's more of a of compassion type of thing, you know what I mean? Sometimes I do do the compassion and I try to connect with people who are compassionate, whereas like you can enjoy both, right? It's not lust, it's lust. However, it's more of a compassionate lust, which is kind of weird. Compassionate lust. <laughs> Somebody should write a song about that. And then the fast burning karma is when you you become aware of the, the behavior and you change it, right? So it's kind of like, uh, realizing your behaviors of of anger you're angry uh you're just you like to hold grudges in your personality and you're just like okay why that brings only negative energy to me why am i trying to project it onto the, my external reality and you change that and then you kind of like or like you are a backstabber or something you know what i mean fast burning karma that's what it means um so burning karma not creating more karma for yourself is essentially what it is being a Great Samaritan, is, you, could, you could say that for sure, for being karma. Karma is just a general topic. It's uh, even uh, in the religious society, in the spiritual community, it's, uh, Hinduism is very popular. I was I read the Bhagavad Gita, which talks a lot about karma, actually. And if I can remember the stories, I read it in 2012, 2000, no, 2013, no, 2012. 
December 2012. I can't remember. I remember that, but that's when I received it and I read it. And um, it talks a lot about karma there. Hinduism has about karma and reincarnation. We all know the more karma you accumulate, you will reincarnate into something to experience that exact same suffering that you cause onto someone to learn, which is a learning process, right? So burning of karma, karmic transmutations, which is called to heal. There's color therapy. You can use color to use uh, to figure out your frequency. Color has a lot of frequencies, so it definitely helps with um, becoming aware of your body. Body detox, that's another way. Physical detoxation of the body helps heal the body, right? When you have a very acidic diet, then you just balance it, or even if you wanna to go to an alkaline diet, then you will heal your body from ailments and diseases, but that's also a shift in mentality, right? You could eat hamburgers, be grateful for all the parts that go into the being the hamburger and still be same and balance it out with salad or balance it out with an alkaline diet or taking some superfoods uh, and taking superfoods, etc. Right? You could just have a balance and really enjoy the, the gifts of the world. Um, but body detoxification, you could do more of a pineal detoxification, decalcifying of the pineal gland, meaning removing all mercury, stop uh, in taking fluoride. If you have fluoride toothpaste, definitely take that out of your cabinet, like create your own toothpaste. I created my own uh, coconut oil and mint. It was not that great, not that great. It was just a beta testing. However, I did create one 2015, 2000, yeah, 2015, wasn't that great. But um, I used coconut oil for luching, uh, not luching, pulling. Luching is negative. <laughs> luching is taking energy from fear. Um, no, pulling is when you, before you go to bed, you take some warm coconut oil and you whoosh it around and it pulls all the bacteria out of your mouth. Really cool. Uh, so that's pulling, but physical detoxification, right? That's ex exactly what it is. You could also do ayahuasca. A lot of the spiritual teachers and spiritual seekers of knowledge take ayahuasca ceremony. And that's a very shamanic path, right? That's, that's taking alternative drugs or plant medicine to induce a, an altered state of consciousness to take you on a joyride of yourself <laughs> to realize expectations. There are side effects of that, but we're not going to talk about that because that is also a way to induce. I'm not telling you to go and do take drugs, to go do peyote, to go do some drop acid, to do, take some... Uh, uh, some ayahuasca. No, I'm not telling you to go do that. I'm just saying that's a mode of healing is through uh, plant medicine. And I've we seen we seen the effects DMT. We have seen what it's all about. We, I mean, if you're not familiar with that, there's a lot of information online. I don't want to go much into detail because that's not the idea. I'm just giving you like I'm talking about modes of reality. Maybe I can take this video <laughs> in each modality, making its own video, right? That's what I should do, prolong it, right? Because I could definitely go and do that. Have a lot of information to talk about and a lot of experience in regards to plant medicine. Uh, but that's another mode of healing, energy healing, right? In, uh, healing the energetic body, the emotional body, the astral body. Uh, that's with Reiki, that is with uh, acupuncturist, acupressure, uh, Things like that, uh, not things like that, uh, processes in that way, definitely. Um, let me see. I, I kind of made a list, but I kind of, I should have made a list, but I'm like, oh, I can just say them all, right? Modalities, right? Um, you could do hypnosis, meaning you could do past life regressions as a way of like going back into your past lives, understanding why you still carry the, the same belief because it's through generations, through cycles, through periods where we continue the karma, right? Because if, if we're burning karma, right? If we brought karma from our past lives, which car what karma are we learning this life, which kind of helps with the entire process? Uh, that's what kind of means when you go past life regressions because... You go back to, to your, your other lives where you created accumulated karma and then you brought it back into this life and you're becoming aware of it so you can transmute it, right? So it's a very cool process to all the people who are hypnosis. Uh, cool, cool gig, cool gig. Not my gig, but cool gig. You could also do theta healing. One of my cousins uh, recently introduced me to that, which is kind of like hypnosis in a way because you're, um, he's using sound theta waves to access your subconscious spine and then I guess 
program your mind, right? So programming your subconscious mind and taking out old paradigms or old, yeah, old thinking habits, <laughs> programs, and replacing them with new ones. And that's similar to, to hypnosis. Hypnosis uses more of, of word and guided meditations versus, um, you know, sound. Because sound is definitely a healing modality. Uh, that's why it's so popular. That's why a lot of people love, you know, listening to sad songs, like the new Billie Eilish song, Time to Die, which is really good. It gives me the feels. Makes me think of my life's decisions and all the bad ones and good ones I've created. Uh, so, yeah, sound is definitely a great way to heal. It's also a great way to program your subconscious mind. So just keep an eye on that. Um, what else you can do? What other modes? There's so many modes of modality, loves. It's just whichever modality. I mentioned a few just in these this time span, and there's many more. Uh, it just depends how you would like to experience your healing, right? You could also do fasting, right? That goes with being uh, Islamic. You can do fasting. Maybe you're not Islamic. Okay, you can do a lot of uh, uh, detox protocols. Like I did the... Uh, fasting is one. I haven't tried the fasting, but fasting is definitely one, um, which means you don't eat. <laughs> There's Lent for Catholicism, right? Lent where you give up something for an entire month and, uh, until like three months or two months until the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hopefully you transcend that like Jesus Christ did, but you revert back. Some people revert, some don't, which is cool. Um, but you can do like detox protocols like I did a turpentine and castor oil detoxification. That was pretty great. That helped me, that helped me a lot. Also meditation definitely helps. Um, you could also do uh, rituals, spiritual rituals. I have developed a we, I don't want to say I, but the ego, with the assistance of the ego, I was able to create with the help of Source, the immortal royal beings of love and light, my higher self and your higher self, to create a spiritual ritual routine where you're able to induce a, an altered state of consciousness and heal yourself through that. However, you have to get the foundation first to be able to heal yourself. And that's all good, that's, that's a good gig. Uh, the information will be down below. If you sign up, you can get a free, you can get the free manifesting, the ABCs of manifesting e-guidebook, which is really short, really cute, uh, for free, sign up, and then I'll, um, you'll get a $5 discount as well. Um, but if you go to Fiverr, it's gonna just be $30. And I'll send you the link for that. And it's one hour, and it's gonna benefit you a lot. If you already have a spiritual practice, then you can utilize this information to see how it could apply into your other spiritual practice and see how it can uh, you can make it your own because essentially it's a foundation. So once you understand the process of connecting to your higher self, to source, to the immortal realm beings, the love and light, to your ancestors, then you don't need this foundation anymore. You can just go right into it. But if you continue taking the courses, because that's level one, level four is essentially learning how to self-heal and being able to heal others. So that's called the energy management course. Super excited for that, so look out for that. Typically here in the Rainbow Love community, we uh, heal through energy and through excitement and the journey, the adventure of the grand adventure and we're sharing information, knowledge and love. Love, give somebody a hug, that definitely heals, right? The two hearts touching. Um, but yeah, so excited. So um, hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, What's your favorite modality of healing? Moldavite crystals. Uh, you can do, uh, what is that called? The, the bath where you like float or levitate. Oh, I don't know what that's called. Tanning. <laughs> do you like tanning as a healing modality? Um, oh, that's so good. I should make some, some spiritual memes. But definitely hit me up. Um, I'm here for you and we can do it. All right, see you later. Bye.